Hi, Carol here and welcome to my craft room. I'm going to have a short tutorial because I am caring for my five month old little grandson who is in the next room in his little playpen having a bottle. So I thought okay it's going to give me a little bit to just pop in and show you what I did to finish this cute card off and I want to do a different type of envelope to put this in. Every one of my Christmas envelopes pretty well um, a lot of them will be given with a gift and so I will be able to do some special things excuse me with the envelopes and I'm going to do it with this one as well. So I will film that uh, when I get some time but here's what I ended up doing. Isn't it so cute? Um, I put one of these rings in the bottom there. Let me just show you. here. I have about 40 of these little things and I was going through them yesterday just to see what I had like in one of my uh, uh, cupboards and I found these and they're all nice sizes. I remember I got these at Walmart actually in a stationery department and they're so so stinking cute that I found a green one like in the moss green or the old olive type green and I put it through that one slit that we had made at the bottom so his tail looked like it was round and round. You can still see his little tail. And then I put the um, Winkastella up here. I did the happy birthday to you in the Winkastella. The palm, uh, the leaves on the uh, coconut tree I did as well. And I put the little um, enamel dots on the eyes. So then you open it up and I need it to, because the top is so heavy and I don't know if anybody noticed this <laughs> when I did my last video. I bet you you did. I didn't till it stopped running. But I had put this piece on upside down so that when I, the card was actually like this. So you had to open it like this and that wasn't good. So I cut it off here and added it to another piece of card, white card stock. So it is quite heavy now, which I love heavy cards. Um, I love clean and simple cards. Yes, I do. I think they're amazing. But for some reason, I like bulked up um, everything you can get on possibly on a piece of card stock. <laughs> I like to do them because I think I like the vintage style, the shabby chic. And even going this route, I just like that heavy look of a card. Lots and lots of layers, lots and lots of goodies on it. And um, But I am going to do some uh, clean and simple, like I did this one here. This is going out. This is what I consider a clean and simple card with the wobbles. Remember I did this wobble card? And it's, uh, you know, one layer just right on the inside. And it's a pretty card. And I did the ice effect with the um, uh, dazzling diamonds, the thick glitter, and the um, what is that there? The glossy accents. That's what it is. I don't know why your mind goes blank like that, but anywho, um, that's what I did with that one. So when you open it up, I put the teal layer, and then I took my vellum. And it's the dotted vellum. I don't know whether if I hold it up you can see that it's a flag and it has all of the stitching. It's a stitched one. And then I got my glue dots, my um, glue dots. Those are those acrylic uh, enamel. I always want to say acrylic enamel dots and I put two on the flag. Then I thought it'd be kind of cool. I put in yellow coming your way and heat set it in um, clear embossing powder. And then I heat set this on the vellum. I thought it'd be kind of cute to see the edge of the palm tree, not the bottom, and see how high they have made it up in the air. So I just did half of the image. I put Copics behind the vellum and colored it in and so that I could get, you know, some color in there because just stamped on vellum, you could see the background here. And I thought the swirls were so cute to match the swirls in his tail on this print. 
But then not only do you know I like to do front, inside and backs of my cards. If you've watched my videos, I generally, if I do my shabby chic, I do every, except for the part you write on. So here's the back. And I took the colors. I took a black and white piece of, um, kind of looks like a graph paper and behind it has the world, you know, because he's traveling up in the air and has that globe in the background. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I decided to use the scrap paper and I stamped out or die cut happy, happy, happy. And I thought that was awesome. So um, that's the card and I'll be doing an envelope to match that on another video. Now, I wanted to show you something that I was doing with reorganizing my craft room. The one thing that I have, and I'm going to show you here, I moved my sprays behind me until I get some of my units taken out when I get this apothecary filled. But I want to show you this if I can. And here's the paper, by the way, that I used. This was on sale. This was $9.99 at Michael's. Look at these beautiful prints in here. And it was on sale for half price. And then I used my coupon. So I think this was fairly <laughs> inexpensive. And I love black and white. And look how thick that is. It's beautiful. So it's Recollections Blackjack Paper Pack. And let me just swing my camera around. I want you to see if I can quickly this unit. I have all of my Lindy Stamp Gang products in here. Now I used to have them, if we come over here, I used to store them, see how it has Lindy Stamp Gang? They used to be in the unit that I store my uh, embossing powders, my Tim Holtz inks, so the large ones, and then all of my applicators are stored by color in the two piles each there in wooden and then I have my acrylic blocks in my book that opens up. That's a book. But I can turn around when I'm filming or I'm not filming and just doing things and I can grab them. But this was my concern right here. My Lindy Stamp Gang. As you can see there are lots. There's 54 of them actually. And so what I did is I took a little punch and I punched out numbers starting at one at the back and then I went along all the way to 54. I think that's 54 Lindy Stamp Gang sprays. And I didn't want to have a book, you know, spraying and having this big book to look through. I'm trying, I just wanted to hang something uh, close to this unit that I have. And I think it's cute. And I just grabbed a little uh, metal stand, a, a butterfly stand I got at the thrift store. And I put it right here behind me for now so that I can use up my sprays. I don't get to use my sprays that often. So I took a glue dot and I just wrote the number. I hope that focuses on there. And I put them back in. And then what I did here, let me just show you. I grabbed, I'm not finished with them yet, but I grabbed a watercolor piece of paper and from my um, Strathmore 140 pound. And then I set it down on my counter. And this is the little, isn't this cute? This is the little punch that I punched out 54 little circles in to write my numbers. And then I took my eyelets. There's my, uh, I have two of these. Can you imagine? Remember when eyelets were the craze? Well, I have them in all kinds of size. I have eyelets in a great big basket that's full. I mean, I went nuts on eyelets, but this one here is, um, I have three different sizes in this one, and I store them in the Stampin' Up, remember these? And I put a T on the top to tell me that this is the top that opens up, and they slide back in, and the T tells me, don't try it this way, or they'll be all over the place. So all of my um, eyelets are stored like this with the top side up and I used all of the one so I'm gonna have to oh this is making memory cases this isn't uh, stamping up hmm anyway sorry about that that's what I do with my eyelets and then I always have um, 
you know, so I can see it. So what I did was I took that paper and I sprayed it. And then I took my Stampin' Up! 2 and 1 8, 3 8 inch, 2 by 3, 2 and 3 8, what is it here? 2 by 1 and 3 8 oval punch. And once these dried, I, um, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to put a chain around them and just hang them with a double loop to hang on that unit. So I can just grab them. On the one side, it has the name and like blue beard, blue violet. And then I took some of the brads I don't, or brads or eyelets, and I used my, um, not my big one, but the small uh, crocodile, this one, to uh, punch the hole first. And I have both of them. I have this small one and then I have the large one that goes way in. You get 12 inches to go, but that one was, I had to buy the small one for my wrist. Then I took a black Sharpie and I ran around all the colors so they weren't so bright because they were really bright, bright colors, you know. And um, so now I, these will all hang on a little chain and I have the number I wrote on both sides so I could see it both ways. And then I turn it over. I not only see what it's going to look like when it sprays out, but I have the name Silhouette Silver on the back. All of them are named. Okay, so this is Black Orchid Silver. And these are beautiful. Be look at this one. The, with the, um, the coral, the bronze, and then this beautiful... Um, what is it? It says uh, peg leg peak purple, but it, it's such a nice purple. It's just these colors have that shimmer in them, just like the Wink Estella. So if you're interested, when I get finished here, you'll get 54 of these. I loop a chain through, and then I'm just going to hang it on one of the poles behind me, right where all my sprays are, so I can quickly see the color. Look how pretty that one is. That one's Jolly Roger Red. Can you see the red in there? It's just adorable. So that is what I'm doing with my sprays. I'm going to do it with my Distress sprays. I'm going to do it with my, um, what other sprays do I have there? I have the Perfect Pearl Mists. I have the Tattered Angels. And I have the uh, Sukuniko sprays. And I am going to have them all in order hanging on little, this little, um, I mean that takes up no space at all when you have it all together, does it? So I'm going to finish that off. And then, what else was I doing here? Oh, I got, I'm going to make a nice card out of these. I've got 12, I think there's 12 of these tree ornaments. But I'm going to use them for... No, actually, look at I didn't even take it out. I got it the other day when I went to get my book. My books at the bookshop. Oh, that was an amazing story, that one. And uh, look at that. It just hangs. Like a necklace. Aren't they gorgeous? I just couldn't resist it. I'm going to put it on the inside. I'm going to cut out the inside of my card. This is going to go on the inside. And then I'm going to have a bubble across it like this. I already know exactly what I'm going to do. I thought they were ornaments to hang on a tree, but it turns out it is um, a banner. And they're made of metal. Somebody has looped all this together. And it has this purple. Do you see the sparkles in that that glitters? So 3D. I don't know. This is pretty nice. But I had a card, some cards in mind for that, so I think I would do that. So I thought I would just show you if you're looking to organize. And somebody asked me about this container. It was uh, Janet and Linda. I think Michelle, you asked me too. Um, and Karen, I'm not sure. I have to go back on the, I'm so sorry, but you asked me and it says here, Gary B. Berlin and Company is the name. Gary, I'm sorry, Gary M. Berlin, B-U-R-L-I-N and Company. They slide back, oops, they slide back and forth to lock and it holds 60 of, and they really lock, let me get it across here, 60 of my daubers. 
and I got these at Buffalo Stamp and stuff. And uh, she does orders, so if you look on the internet at Buffalo, if you live near Buffalo, New York, and does it have a number on the bottom? Yes, it does. Number G as in Gary, B as in Bob, D as in David, and B as in Bob at Cleveland, Ohio. It's made in Cleveland, Ohio. So it's a dauber box, number G, B, D, B. Gary, Bob, Debbie, Bob in Cleveland, Ohio. And it says Gary M. Berlin and Company. Berlin and Company. Berlin. So that's where I got this, ladies. You were asking me about that. I got my uh, little distress containers there as well. And I'm now missing one. One set. So to complete that. And then I picked up some of these sponges they had at Walmart. You know, we always use the oval ones. Um, I'm sorry, the pie-shaped ones. Well, they have these ones, the round ones. And I really like using these because you can um, do a lot of texture if you're doing uh, mixed media and you're using your um, gels and things. These work very well. So I wanted to tell you that. Another thing that I think if you're looking, if you're a thrift store shopper, is they have these. I had bought a lot of these up. And they are, I think, sometimes it looked to me like an egg, or I'm sorry, ice cube. They're stainless steel. And I hold my glues uh, in there. And my runner, glue runners. And then I have one right in front of me where, oh, there's a glue runner. I keep my Tombow Mono Multi. So that is an idea if you're looking for something to hold things, you know, the glue's upside down. So when you grab it, this belongs over there. I'm starting to, everything has to be, that I use has to be out in the open. So I thought I'd run that by in a short video. See if you like the idea of this organizing your sprays I'm going to have separate ones separate one for the distress separate one for the perfect pearls separate one for the Sukunikos and that would be good these I got at an office store I have like tons of these little ones and they're nice because you can just write you know, everything you have in them with, or to organize it and they're cute. I only write on it if it's you can't see through it. If you can see through it, obviously I know what's in there. So that is it. That's a short video while well, my little baby grandson is resting. And um, I think he's watching Happy Feet I put in. <laughs> uh, I didn't have a TV when my, or for my children when they were younger. And... Um, my daughter-in-law brought the Happy Feet and said he really likes this Happy Feet. So I put it on while he's drinking his bottle. He's sitting up and looking at that just for a minute. I'm going to shut it off now that I've got this over with because I don't like them looking into TV and movies and stuff. But I thought I wanted to get this video out. I wanted to show you the card that was finished. And I am going to show you a real awesome way to do matching envelopes. I think you're going to love it. And when I put it, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do with it. I'll show you in a video. So there you have it, my friends, all finished. Look at the glitter. You open it up. You have them flying away. You turn it over and you have happy, happy, happy. I think it's a cute card to receive. And we'll see you on my next card. I think you're going to like it too. I'm going to do um, some things. Do I have enough time? I do. I don't know whether I'll get this out, so we'll show you. Here are, I went to the bookstore. Now this lady has owned this bookstore forever and ever, okay? She has, and she won't sell anything. Like, if it says $15, it's $15, and that's it. And <laughs> I was with my daughter-in-law, and literally thousands of books in this in this little shop they're everywhere and I look down the stairs the books are staggered you only have room to go down the stairs I'd say a foot for your feet to get through the whole basement and she had this little four drawer unit with postcards in it and it looked similar here to uh, let me put this down I moved my seat over but it looked similar 
I don't know if you can see it, to my apothecary here. This is the one that I'm filling up. And it only had, um, uh, see how long it goes? It's the whole width of my, it's 10 feet actually long and 60 drawers. And it only had four little drawers with postcards. And I said to her, would you sell that? And she said, yeah, thousand dollars. <laughs> I said, oh, okay, thousand um, dollars. What if I take the postcards out? <laughs> Uh, no, I said that because I don't want to sell it. And I said, I understand. She said, I don't want to sell it. So I said, okay. So I went and grabbed some books. She had dollar ones outside. I liked one of them to do my journaling in. And then she had some big ones. And she had these paintbrushes that were 40 years old. They were absolutely gorgeous. Big, like this stippling brush. And I said, oh, I love those paintbrushes. Would you sell them? And she looked at me. I had my... Um, purse it was a Michael Kors purse sitting up there and she goes um will you sell me your Michael Kors purse will you sell me your ring will you sell me uh uh your wallet will you sell me and I said my daughter-in-law I said sure <laughs> just give me a price I mean that's how she was there was no way like you were gonna bicker so I and I don't mind I don't mind that she said no I don't I'm not here to, uh, you know, I said, make money. <laughs> uh, no, I just don't bicker. That's the price. And if you don't like it, well, I said, I understand. So what I got quickly is this. It says the Pantheon. You see that there on here? This wasn't the dollar one. I ended up paying $15 for this book. And... And fifteen dollars, trust me. She said, Well, there's no tax. It's all in Dutch. It's all in Dutch. The print. But the reason I bought it is all of the prints, it's all on art. And all of the prints in here are on black sheets. Like this. So you have one black sheet and one that I can do my um journaling on then you can cover your journaling with this black sheet and it goes through like this and you know uh, you just the whole book is like that look at it has all these artists all their paintings and then you have the painting on one side paintings on the other but I'm going and it's a nice size for journaling now you can use a small book if you go through, if you want to art journal like this one. That's a nice size. And it's beautiful uh, watercolor paper. You just have to gesso it on the outside. It has beautiful script, so you could keep the script and go around it to do your journaling. That's a nice size, beautiful watercolor paper. It's simply beautiful, look at that. I love that calligraphy. There is a place between friends for seriousness as well as humor and countless ways to show appreciation. I don't know, I like this book too much. That's a nice book, but that's a nice size. Then I got... This was my dollar one. It's in this huge box. And it slides out the bottom like this. And it's a book of artists. They're all, they all have their signature on the bottom. I don't know. I have to look this this one up. But um, this one, she charged me ten dollars. It has all the artist pictures. But what I liked about this one was each of the. Let me just show you here if I can. It not only has paintings but they have the the wax paper this one is ripped but on here and then they have the painting inside the um, for framing inside the frame is the painting so you have that then you have your um, wax paper and then you have your sketch like this 
and then you have your painting so this is a nice size this one I put that inside this is not the one that was in the case I don't know if you're into uh, art to know here it comes again you have your tissue you have your wax paper you have your painting inside all ready to be it's in its frame then you go on and it has the wax paper the sketch from the painter his uh, signature is down there and then it goes on and on like that some of it is framed in white frames Can you see that but this one wasn't the one that I bought um, in that one that one is this book this is a beautiful journal this came in this great big case it slides in there. I'm going to make a different cover for it. And this was on Canada, a year of the land. Now you can see how big that is. I would say it is, let's see, it is, let me see here, 16 inches by 16 by 12 and a half. 16 by 12 and a half. And your pages are absolutely beautiful to work on. All you have to do is gesso it and it folds down flat because I made sure that I looked that the binding was stitched binding. I did not want glue binding. This is stitched. So um, you can see just inside there everywhere the stitching is. Let me show you on this one. It's all stitched looked for that so through like each signature is sewn I think three times so find your signature you can see it very easily from the side Let me see here. I'm trying to find them here I think it's on this one and you see the stitches let me show you what I mean See how you can see it in there? Each signature, one, two, three, four, five, six. I want to find you the stitching. This paper is absolutely beautiful for drawing. I looked at it. It's the same color. Oh, there it is. There's your threads. Let me see if I can zoom in on this for you. Oh, I gotta go, man. He's, he's calling, but there is the stitching. Can you see that? Right there. One, two, three, four stitches holding this on each signature. So that's awesome. Oh, let me move that. So, anyway, take care, and I'm going to start my art journaling. I'm going to call it the Lights On Journaling. So, that is my goal. Take care, everybody. And Nana's on her way. <laughs>